today we are gathered here to present the working of our project credit card fraud detection my name is kritika i am from enc we are group 34 and we would also like to express our special thanks to our mentor dr manu bansal for mentoring us and i am seher kansal from electronics and computers branch hello my name is raghav bansal and i am from electronics and computer branch myself krishan bhanot and i am from electronics and computers branch Hello myself Dhruv Mohindra and I am I am from electronics and computers branch also now my fellow uh, fellow group mates sir will briefly discuss about the project it is vital that credit card companies are able to identify fraudulent credit card transactions so that customers are not charged for products they did not purchase such problems can be tackled with data science and in, and it is its importance along with machine learning algorithms this project intends to illustrate the modeling of data set using machine learning with credit card fraud detection credit card fraud detection is a typical sample of classification in this process we have focused on analyzing and preprocessing data sets as well as the deployment of multiple anomaly detection algorithms the data set is taken from the kaggle website and it is has a total of 284807 transactions out of which 492 are fraudulent since the data set is highly imbalanced it so it needs to be handled before modeling model building Now my fellow group member Raghav will explain you the working of our project. Well, fraud detection is a complex issue that requires a substantial amount of planning before applying machine learning algorithms to it. Here we are going to use a local outlier factor to calculate the anomaly scores as well as an isolation forest algorithm. These two algorithms will help us to go through a set of almost 280,000 credit card tra- transactions. and will predict which ones are fraudulent the work is implemented in python uh, language the class of one over here means that the transaction is a fraudulent one whereas as a class of zero would mean that it's a valid transaction this network is going to predict minus 1 for outliers it correctly predicts whether it is an outlier or a fraudulent transaction now my friend uh, krishan will uh, further explain the working of the project so the project pipeline may be briefly summarized in the following steps step 1 reading and understanding the data here we load the data and understand the features present in it this will help us choose the features that will be needed for our final model number 2 step 2 that is the data cleansing in this normally in this step we need to perform univariate and bivariate analysis of the data followed by the feature transformations if necessary for the present data set since there are many variables are used we do not need to perform z scaling however if there are any problems in the data and try to mitigate it it might be it, there may be some problems during the model building phase step 3 data visualization in this in we uh, we see the imbalanced data and we also see the data distribution plots and uh, we further evaluate the data on the following features step 4 split in the data into training and testing sets since we are familiar with the train slash test split, split which we which are performed in the order to perf- see the performance of the various model with unseen data here for validation we are using the uh, cross validation method we need to choose an appropriate value so that the minority class is represented in the test fold step 5 building the, the logistic model here this is the final step in which we try different models and fine tune their hyperparameters until the desired level level of performance on the given data set for example the uh, models which we have chosen is random forest sg boost logistic regression and we have uh, used this model on balanced and as well as imbalanced data and the final step is the model evaluation where we uh, analyze the final and choose the best model to select if we are evaluating the model using appropriate evaluation metrics now since the data is imbalanced it is more important to identify which fraudulent transactions are, are and there which are non fraudulent transactions now my team member dhruv will follow on fraud detection is a complex issue that requires a substantial amount of planning before throwing machine learning algorithms at it nonetheless it is also an application of data science and machine learning for the good which means which make sure that the customer's money is safe and not easily tampered with future work will include a comprehensive 
tuning of the algorithms mentioned above. Having a data set with non-anonymized uh, features would make this particularly interesting as outputting the feature importance would enable one to see what specific factors are most important for detecting fraudulent transactions. The extensive experimental analysis allows to provide some answers to the most common questions that a practitioner would have when facing credit card fraud detection. Now, now I would like Kritika to conclude our project. Credit card fraud is without a doubt an act of criminal dishonesty. While we can't reach out goal of 100% accuracy in fraud detection, we can end up creating a system that can, with enough time and data, get very close to that goal. As with any such project, there is some room for improvement here. The very nature of this project allows for multiple algorithms to be integrated together as modules and their results can be combined to increase the accuracy of the final result. This model can further be improved with the addition of more algorithms into it. However, the output of these algorithms needs to be in the same format as the others. Once that condition is satisfied, the modules are easy to add as done in the code. This provides a great degree of modularity and versatility to the project. More room from improvement can be found in the data set. As demonstrated before, the precision of the algorithms increases when the size of the data set is increased. Hence, more data will surely make the model more accurate in detecting frauds and reduce the number of false positives. That's all from our side. Thank you.